How Meghan Markle raved about Ivanka Trump in interview for her now defunct lifestyle website before she met Prince Harry. She now adheres to the royal family's strict no public politics rule, but Meghan Markle hasn't always been so quiet about America's first family. Three years ago, the actress raved about Ivanka Trump, 36, on her now defunct lifestyle website The Tig. While she may now enjoy the adoration of fans around the world, Meghan was an ascending actress at the time whose fame was dwarfed by Ivanka's. The same age, the pair had grown up at the same time with Meghan watching from the West Coast as Ivanka grew up in the spotlight cast by her father. In August 2014, two years before she met Harry, Meghan sent Ivanka an email containing a list of questions she hoped she would answer as part of an influencer on the TIG. To her surprise, she responded immediately and honestly which federal Meghan's fondness of her and soaked the gushing article which she eventually published on the site. Let's take a moment and discuss Ivanka Trump. Staggeringly beautiful, no question, but so incredibly savvy and intelligent that she not just carved a niche for herself under her father's famed Trump notoriety, she has undoubtedly created her own empire, Meghan wrote. Having grown up in California in a comparatively modest home, Markle said she was impressed to have never seen Ivanka behaving badly. It's so easy to knock the girls who come from privilege, to assume they rested on their laurels and garnered accolades simply by being fancy from the womb. But I always remember Ivanka being different, she wasn't dancing on tables as a teenager or releasing pop albums. She wasn't running amok publicly, swearing and being smacked with DUIs. Instead she was graduating from the Wharton School Kabod. By my at launching the Trump Hotel collection, and building her own brand, she gushed. The aforementioned brand suffered exponentially when her father was sworn in as customer's boycotted her goods. But at the time of writing, Meghan was a fan of that as well. Her eponymous brand seems to include every covetable thing one could imagine. Don't get me started on her jewelry collection, the late night window shopping I have done on my computer, snuggled up in my bed with a glass of wine staring longingly at the beautiful designs. She said. Ivanka, who at the time had just two children, answered all of Megan's questions. She does it all. And when I sent an email asking to do a tip talk, not only did she get back to me immediately with such honest responses, but we also began planning drinks and dinner for the next time I was in New York. This much I know, when we have drinks, I will make sure I order whatever she does. Because this woman seems to have the formula for success and happiness down path, Markle delighted. It is not known if their meeting ever took place. Among Megan's somewhat random questions were what would you spend $10 on if it was all the money you had and where would you escape to for a week? She might favor March a Lago now, but at the time, Ivanka would have picked Patagonia for a week away. I have been two times and there is no place more special, she said of the South American spot. If I only had $10 in my pocket, I would take my husband and daughter for an ice cream date at the Mr. Soft a truck on the corner of 5th and 58th Street and still have enough money left over to buy her a balloon across the street in Central Park, was her answer to another. She revealed her nickname was Eva, said she meditated for 15 minutes when she wakes up in the morning after brushing her teeth and claimed everything tastes better with salt. Meghan's love for Ivanka did not stretch far enough to put her on Team Trump's side during the election. In July 2016, around the same time she met Harry, Markle shared her support for Trump's campaign opponent Hillary Clinton. Sharing a photograph of Clinton at the DNC, Markle used the popular election hashtag time with her to thank friends who were keeping her caught up on the race while she filmed suits. She described Clinton's candidacy as a historic moment. None of the Trumps congratulated Harry and Meghan on their engagement. So far only First Lady Melania has sat down with him. They met at the Inthos Games in Toronto, one of Melania's first solo foreign trips and where Harry and Meghan made their debut as a couple. On the night of the Games opening ceremony, the royal was sat next to Melania in the VIP box while Meghan took in the action from a seat in the stands with a friend. 